Back this week, NASA and the rest of the country are celebrating the 50th anniversary of the famed Apollo 11 mission. It landed man on the moon for the very first time. And tonight, the talk of space travel is alive and well in Kearney as Nebraska astronaut Clayton Anderson is set to speak at the local library. Local 4 resident space nerd Kit Kloniger joins us now live in Kearney with Clayton Anderson himself. Kit, take it away. That's right, uh, Spencer. I'm here with the retired astronaut Clayton Anderson. Um, Clayton, thanks for meeting here with me today. My pleasure, sir. All right, so first off, uh, you're here in Kearney, uh, mm -hmm. and you're going to be talking about your whole journey. But uh, for us here on TV, summarize what it's like <laughs> from uh, launch to landing. <laughs> uh, it happens really fast. Uh, for me, though, I would launch on Atlantis on SDS-117 in 2007. I arrived at the space station. I spent 152 day days on the space station. Then I got on Discovery and came home. Okay, so you, you were part of the shuttle mission, right? Yeah. At that time, I was a shuttle rotating expedition crew member, which meant we went up and came down on the shuttles. Now, of course, they're retired. Everybody uses the Russian Soyuz. All right, so uh, you're basically the, or you are the only astronaut from Nebraska. Uh, what's it like to represent your home state here? Well, I'm very proud of that fact. I hope that NASA fixes it sometime soon and picks another astronaut from Nebraska. So, um, but for the time being, since it's just me, uh, I'm very happy to represent this great state, the great people, and it's fun to come home, be able to share with kids and adults alike. Sure, and so growing up in Nebraska, you, you were telling me earlier that your inspiration didn't come from Apollo 11, but actually from Apollo 8. Talk a little about that. Well, it's a big week for space, as this is the 50th anniversary of the Apollo guys walking around and working on the moon, but uh, for me it was Apollo 8. In December of 1968, on Christmas Eve, my mom awakened my brother and sister and I and put us in front of a black and white TV to watch those guys go behind the moon for the first time. Um, from my memory, that's what I remember, and that's what sticks. Uh, Mom would tell you that uh, I was six years old and that we discussed that I would become an astronaut when I was six, but I don't remember that, so Apollo 8's the thing. Sure, sure. All right, so uh, we still have a little bit of time before everything gets started here at 6 o'clock at the Kearney Public Library, so come on down. But for, for Local 4 News, I'm Kit Kloniger, live in Kearney.